everyone how's it going this is cali hiker and today we're going to do a campground review on the hodgson meadows campground in yosemite national park now this campground is located directly outside or directly inside of the highway 120 entrance it's literally about a thousand feet from the entrance kiosks um, this campsite has 104 sites plus four group sites um, you can see right now in one of the group sites you can see uh, this is the only unoccupied one at the moment. We've got four bear boxes, two fire pits, quite a few tables right here. And quite a f this one actually has quite a bit of space. You know, it keeps you away from all the other group sites. The next group site is way over there. So you've actually got quite a bit of privacy. You can see you've also got two pit toilets right over there. And then in this area over here, you've actually got the amphitheater where at least two or three nights a week they usually have a program out here in the summer um, Hudson campground is open year-round it's one of the only ones that's not in Yosemite Valley that's open year-round uh, most of the other ones such as White Wolf Crane Flat uh, Tamarock Flat Yosemite Creek Porcupine Flat those all close in the winter along with Tioga Road now you can see this is the amphitheater quite a bit of seating right here you got one table a fire pit they don't use that very often and then down there is the trail that will actually lead you to Hodgdon Meadow. Now, some of you are probably wondering, what's the bear population like out here? Well, I can tell you from experience, um, you don't see many bears out here. Um, you really don't hear about campers having issues with bears out here. But that's only if and only because the campers and the park rangers have made it a priority to make sure that people put away their food. If it became a problem where people didn't put away their food and bears started to realize that, then you'd have a bear issue again. But thankfully right now, that issue is non-existent for the most part. Not to say that there aren't going to be any bears around here ever, but for the most part, you don't see bears even in the meadow. Now, as you can see, this just leads back down to the actual parking area. It's quite a, it's just a giant circle around the pit toilets over there. Um, and then the other three group sites are right over there. So if you uh, want a good group site, I would suggest the number 43 is the most private. Uh, these other three, I'm not exactly sure the numbers, but there's not a lot of privacy to them. Uh, in a minute, we're going to move on to the actual smaller sites. Um, we're just going to look at one or two that are vacant, because this campsite, campground's always got people in it, especially in the summer, so it's very difficult to find a vacant site. Well, when you can see, I just picked a random campsite. This is actually site 92, one of the only ones that's vacant and doesn't have people standing around it. Um, you can see even on a Monday, you got campground is pretty full. Now this is a reservation campground, meaning that you need a reservation to have the best shot. If they have any leftover campsites, you could of course you know, be forced to come for a serve, but this campsite does get busy. Now, um, like I said, this is site 92. You can see you've got your little pole to put your little reservation stick on. You've got your grill. You've got this giant tree stump. You've got your barrel box over there. You've got quite a few little trees in this area where you could nicely hang a hammock. You've got your good sized picnic table you got a rock well a few rocks now <clears throat> you can see we have quite a bit of congestion of uh, camps campers in this area um, most of the inner loop is like this the outer loop is a little bit better um, there's a bathroom building over there and then a bathroom building right over there and the camp hosts are right there um like um so basically um Hodge the Meadow Campground is, you know, not a campsite that I would say would be the most um, outdoorsy. I mean, you're outdoors definitely, but, you know, you get a lot of, you know, the city car campers that, you know, don't camp much. Um, if you want more of an outdoorsy type experience, you need to go to one of the campsites, uh, campgrounds that's out here that's more um, uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere or harder to get to such as uh, Yosemite Creek, um, but that one is rough on your car. It's very pitted, the road. Um, or you can go to other campsites, such as White Wolf, which is a beautiful campground at 8,000 feet. But for what it is, I do think that Hodgson Meadow does offer quite a bit. Um, it does have potable water. It has, you know, flush toilets, aside from the two pit toilets in group camp. Um, it's got, you know, a flush sink to wash down, you know, your food leftovers. And, um... Like I said, two bathroom buildings. Um, plenty of trees to hang your hammock, hammock if you're into that. But 
you know, just keep in mind, you know, you have a lot of people around you and if you're near the bathroom buildings, people will be walking through your campsite at all times of night and day. Um, of course, like with any campsite in the morning, it's busy, but don't, closer to the afternoon, it thins out until later when people start coming in to make, make their reservations. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this short video review of Hodgson Meadow Campground. Um, like I said, I can't obviously do a review on each campsite. There's just too many people. But uh, this Site 92 kind of gives you a basic idea of the inner area of the campground. Um, the outer area of the campground does get you more privacy because there's no one behind you and you usually have a little bit more space to your left and right where you don't have a camper. Oh, one more important thing I should mention. Many of the campsites in this area do have, or they're on kind of a slanted hill. So with that in mind, you want to um, keep in mind that when you set up your tent, you know, the campsite you're in hopefully has a decent flat spot. Because some of these campsites don't have many flat areas. So just keep that in mind that if you're coming with, you know, four or five tents, the campsite you pick might not have enough flat areas for you to put them up nicely. Uh, site 92 is relatively flat though, but the outer area the, it is pretty hilly, so it can be difficult to find a flat area for your tent, which is why, partially why I see a lot of hammocks in this campground, is people would rather sleep in a hammock than a crooked tent. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this short review, um, and it helps you make a decision if you want to stay in Hodgson Meadow. Like I said, it's not a bad campground, it's just, you know, it's crowded because it's right near the entrance to Highway 120. So, um, anyway, get back with you guys next time.